Hey guys, it's me Jasmine and my video stopped recording because this phone is way too full of data and so I'm just gonna do like, you know, little intro. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching and um, so the reason why I'm doing this video is because I got a lot of new products from Mikasa Beauty and it's, I feel like the angle is so weird. I got some new products from Mikasa Beauty. They reached out to me on Instagram and I'm such a small account so I'm just so thankful for, for for them to like have noticed me and like for them to have reached out and give they gave me a discount actually on their website so I can buy a couple of things and try them out and so I jumped on it because that's an amazing amazing opportunity so um, I bought a couple of things. I bought two of, I bought one brush that looks like an artiste brush. It's called a Technique brush. And I, and I got a free, um, lemon drop sponge, like a beauty sponge. And it's comparable, you know, to the beauty blender. And I never tried any other sponge besides the beauty blender. So I was really excited to try this one out. And it works amazingly. You'll see in my demo, like my first impressions. And then I got a couple of things from their website. They also sell Bodyography. And it's a it's a brand that um, is a professional makeup brand. It's it's kind of pricey, but I like that I you know had the discount, so I didn't have to pay full price. I got um, um, the foundation primer, and it it seems to have worked pretty well. I mean, it's first impressions, so I like the first impressions. And then I got a a translucent powder because I'm running out of powders. And I just wanted to see how it looked. It's very silky. It gives my skin just like a very um, just silky, satiny appearance. I'm not too matte. You can't tell right now because I'm using my front camera. It's not great quality. But in the video, you'll see what I'm talking about maybe a little bit more clearly. And then for my lips, for my lips, I'm wearing... Oh, this is a better lighting. For my lips, I'm wearing... Um, a Sephora gel lip liner and it's called Rosewood and it's such a beautiful like pinky brown color and I kind of got the name now Rosewood it's like a rosy color and a woodsy color Rosewood it's just a really pretty um color and then I'm wearing Kathleen Lights on top um the Miami Fever and I freaking love Miami Fever it's such a beautiful color especially for this time of year it's a beautiful like burnt orange and with the brown lip liner underneath it just looks a lot more I don't know deeper better for my skin tone and yeah and I'm just I just have a really simple look right now you'll see my makeup on the demo and you'll see how I do everything and just thank you so much for Mikasa Beauty for you know recognizing me I'm just such a small account so I'm still surprised that this happened and I'm so I'm so like happy yeah and yeah everything that I said is honest because this isn't sponsored or anything I just got a discount to try some of their products and I love that um and it's very high quality very good stuff so you'll see in my in my review how I feel about everything in my first impressions thank you guys so much for watching let me know in the bottom um, um any questions and leave any comments and let me know what you want to see next um, yeah, I don't know. I, I really want my makeup channel to be beauty, beauty and everything, but I love, um, the health, health lifestyle. I love talking about the environment, the issues out there, um, you know, just how to be healthy, fit, um, I'm plant-based, just like, just those are the things that matter to me and beauty, of course, and I try to support every company that's cruelty free and just has a good mission behind them and all that stuff so yeah let me know what you guys want to see if you want to just keep watching more makeup stuff reviews and hauls and everything um i got a lot of stuff from the thrift store and target so i can also do a clothing haul and i can just talk about you know lifestyle and my favorite stuff and all that stuff so thank you guys so much for watching bye hey guys welcome to my channel and Actually, let me just save the introductions for the intro part of the video. Now, um, I'm getting ready for an interview. Um, and I'm going to do my makeup. It's going to be very, very simple, very light. And, um, 
just going to use a couple of things that is going to just make me look just very nice. Okay, and I got a, a lot of new products. Not a lot, but I got a couple of new things. I'm going to be trying out this new Lemon Drop Sponge from Mikasa Beauty. And I already wet it. And first impressions, it feels very, very dense. The Beauty Blender, which is this one right here, is very dirty and it's dry. Um, when you wet it and it blows up, it's very lightweight, very squishy, and... Um, I feel like it has more pores. This one looks like it's more dense. Um, I don't really know. That's all. It, that's all that it's given me. Just like a lot, really dense. Um, it's still squish, squishy, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, and something else that I got was from Mikasa Beauty on the website is this brush. And I ordered the small one. It's called the Techni 02 brush. The box is right here. And I thought it was going to be a lot bigger. Like on the website, I just thought it was going to be... I thought I was going to use this for foundation. But it looks like I'm just going to be using it for contour and like highlight and concealer. Stuff like that. But um, but yeah. I don't know. I just wanted to try it because it looked like the Artiste brush. And the Artiste brush, I'm not sure how much they are, but this was about $25, I think. But um, since I had the discount, and I'll talk to you about that in the intro. Since I got the discount, I was like, let me try it. It's very dense also, um, and these hairs are synthetic, which is awesome. Cruelty free. And this was free. It came with my order. And then they had stuff from Bodyography and I just got like a regular makeup cleanser because I've been doing a lot more people's makeup and I just needed something that I can use that isn't a harsh like alcohol but it still disinfects. And then I got this Bodyography Veil Foundation Primer and I tried it on my skin without any makeup just to put it on and it's very very shimmery. I don't know how it, I don't know how it will look when I put foundation on top and I don't know how it wears throughout the day but... This thing was like $32. I mean, I still got the discount, but this bodyography makeup is expensive. I would never have bought this like just like plain $32 without knowing, knowing anything about the products. But um, I saw that Kim Kardashian uses it. It's professional makeup and it's cruelty free and all that stuff. And then I also needed a translucent powder. So I got their translucent powder. This was like $28 without the discount. And it just looks, it feels very, very, um, like silky. And I just wanted to try a translucent powder so I don't have to, like, worry about, you know, my shade or anything like that. So, I'm going to start with the foundation. The foundation primer looks like this. Um, it looks like it has a tint, but it doesn't look too... Like when I blended it out on my skin, it didn't look like it gave me that much of a tint. Like it fades away. And it has like little, little shimmers in them. In there. And it feels very, um, very silicone-y on my skin. Very, oh and I already, um, moisturized before this. Because I have to, I have dry skin. So I put moisturizer and then I put my primer it feels very nice silky smooth all that stuff and the shimmer is very very faint I don't know if the, this camera will pick it up pick it up but you do see a little glow like a little shimmer you know which I love okay and now I'm gonna go in with my cover effects foundation and N70 and I'll just use I've been using I'm just gonna use this to like staple it on I feel like I can't talk this morning I have allergies in the morning so that's why I'm a little bit stuffy and yeah I love this foundation. I love cover effects in general. I need to get more products from them. Okay. 
and I'm just gonna like put this all over my face. And I'm gonna put a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of this NAR Sheer Glow. It's really, really messy because something happened with the cover and it's just really, really messy. Um, just gonna put a tiny bit. The Sheer Glow, I really used to love this foundation and it worked really well with my undertone and I really love the color. It's very, very tan. And I thought that it was great for my dry skin, but I don't know. Sometimes I love it. Sometimes I'm just like, does this even work? It looks really, really dry and like patchy. But then other times it looks good. So now I'm just blending everything in with this lemon drop. Um, it definitely blends in a lot faster than the beauty blender. I feel like the beauty blender you have to you have to take your time a little bit more to blend everything out and to pounce everything on your skin. I like holding this a lot better because it has the little um, squeeze in the middle, the indent in the middle, so it's easier to hold, easier to move around. I really like it. First impressions. Okay. I mean, I'm pretty much done. That was like five seconds. I've never blended my foundation out that fast. And I'm over here always rooting for the beauty blender saying it's the best, but I've never tried any other makeup sponge. But now that I have, I don't know. And this lemon drop is only $11. Okay. Now I'm going to take a little bit of concealer. I'll take some of this LA Girl in Natural. And I'm just going to put a little bit right here. And there. Right there. And I'm going to use the Artiste brush. I'm going to see how it works. I'm kind of scared because I have dry skin. I don't want it to like move around my skin so much and be harsh on my skin. Okay, so this, I feel like it's given me a very matte finish um yeah it just looks like it's giving me like a matte finish um it it doesn't really remove a lot of the product like the like a beauty sponge does because it's wet and it just blends it out really easily and it gives you like a very dewy finish i feel like this gives you a very matte finish and it keeps the makeup there on your skin does that make sense Like you can definitely tell where I highlight it, but if I use the beauty blender or something like that, you can't really tell. <laughs> but I don't feel like it's too, too harsh, you know? My baby, my baby Chico wants to go outside, so I need to hurry this up. Go downstairs and leave. My interview's in Boston, and I live, like, on the outskirts of Boston, so it does take me a while with public transportation and everything. Um, okay, now I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit, and I'm going to just... I always put a little bit of beauty oil in the color that I want, because they this is very, very pigmented, very, very... Um, like full coverage so I have to for the cream I have to like just put a little bit of like of the beauty oil to move it around make it a little bit more easier to apply so I'm just gonna take these two I feel like these two work amazing on me I almost never use the darkest one 
And I thought I would have, but I don't. It's a little bit too dark for me. I'm just gonna put a little bit. I don't want it to be too much. Maybe a little bit down here. Um, and just a little tiny bit up here. I love this packaging. I love the magnetic packaging. It's very, very like sturdy. I don't feel like the colors are going to come out and break. I just really love that packaging. I think I want to get all the other cream contour kits for client and for her makeup. For my kits. Oh my god, I love how this is blending out my cream contour kit. My cream contour. <laughs> Cause usually when I blend on my cream contour, it's with a sponge and it like literally like takes off the whole thing. So I feel like it like blends it out nicely. Yeah. With the beauty sponge, but it doesn't look like I put anything on. So it looks very nice, but like, then I have to just keep going back in and wasting more product. But this, because it leaves a lot of product still on your face, um, you know, it, you still have to blend it out, obviously, like right here. I don't want any harsh lines, but I feel like you're not wasting your product because it leaves the product on your face, if that makes sense. I love how it how it blends out your cream contour. Yeah, I really really like that. I like that because it just looks like it's a lot more it's concentrated, but you can still blend it out. I'm just going to use a little bit of um bronzer now actually i'm gonna use the translucent powder under my eyes and i'm gonna use the little sponge that it gets you just see if okay i don't like the sponge <laughs> it looks it actually looks like you can bake with this I'm going to use this fluffy brush and just kind of, okay, it doesn't look, I mean, it doesn't look too bad, it doesn't look too cakey or anything, and I feel like throughout the day, my skin does produce a little bit of oil, I mean, my skin is dry, but it produces a little bit of oil. Especially on my forehead, so I need a little bit on my forehead. And under my eyes so my concealer don't crease if I put concealer or highlight on. Um, but it doesn't look like too dry, like it doesn't look cakey or anything. I don't know if you can see that, but it doesn't look cakey. And now I'm going to use a little bit of bronzer with this big brush from Morphe. My brushes are the same. I'm in the market for new brushes. I just don't have the money right now. But when I do have money, the next thing I'm going to invest in is brushes. And there's a lot of um, brands that I want to look into. Like Zoeva. Um, what is it? I don't know there's just a lot of other 
brands I want to look into for brushes. Not just Morphe. Oh, the new Wet n Wild brushes. More e.l.f. brushes. e.l.f. just came out with a new line. It's like silvery, like clear and silver brushes. And they look amazing. And I love e.l.f. brushes, but I don't like that. The handle always, like, always breaks off. And these brushes are not like $6, $3 like their other brushes. These brushes, the new ones, are like $12. So I feel like they probably invested in better glue or something like that to keep the brush handle on or something um I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlight I'm gonna add a little bit of um bubbly I'm dripping in gold just a little bit from my Anastasia glow kit And then for my eyes, for my eyes, I just want to do a little bit of, um, a little bit of eyebrow, probably with just powder, because I don't want it to look too, you know, this is like a no makeup makeup look. Just want to define it a little bit. I just want to leave it like that. I don't want to do too much. My hair is going through a lot of crazy things right now. Okay. Okay, and then I just want to put like, uh, I think I just want to put like a little bit more of this translucent powder on my eyelids so it just increased a lot. Get rid of any thingies in there. Okay. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of mascara lip lipstick. I don't know what call it a day. That's this buxom one never does me wrong. I like the handle. I mean, what's it called? The wand. 